So, um, I wasn't actually expecting to be making this vlog, or making a vlog now at all. Uh, basically, there's an organisation called A21. It's a global organisation that fights against slavery and sex slavery. And today they have their annual uh, global walk for freedom. And a friend of mine recommended to the organiser here in, in my city um, that she asked me to go and help film and take photos. I've warned her that I'm not some big uh, successful YouTuber and thing or vlogger and uh, I'm no professional with the camera but uh, yeah she she wanted me to to go anyway and yeah I'm interested to see what it's gonna be like. Welcome back to my channel this video is slightly more serious than normal and without the usual um, at least attempt of um, an entertainment factor, uh, so I apologise for that, but it is a really important thing to talk about and it's really important that people know about it as well. The other day I was invited to go and film and take photos for an event that was happening here in the city, but it was a global event um, happening all on the same day. It was Saturday the 14th of October. It was called the Walk for Freedom and it's an annual event that um, an organisation called A21 uh, runs. A21 is a non-profit organisation that works to fight against uh, modern day slavery and that includes everything from sex trafficking to forced labour to child soldiers and a whole heap of other things. So human trafficking is actually the fastest growing criminal industry in the whole world and the industry is estimated to be worth about $150 billion. Not only is that number massive, but currently only 1% of the people who are brought into this world of human trafficking actually are rescued or escape. A21 works um, in various ways. They work to raise awareness, to educate people, um, to fundraise, they work closely with uh, law enforcement to actually deal with um, the crimes and the organisations on the ground and they also run sort of rehabilitation for people who have fallen victim to this industry. The Walk for Freedom basically was a walk where the idea was people walk in a single line in silence through the streets of the cities. Everyone had these uh, things around their mouths um, and this year they focused on three people who um, they have come into contact with who uh, were all involved in this industry and managed to escape and so they told the stories of those people. It was Eve, Amy and Ivan, so my scarf has Eve on it. As we walked obviously loads of people looking out of curiosity and then there are a few people along the side um, of the road, not in the main walk, in the main line, uh, giving out information. And then there are a couple of us filming and taking photos for the official um, page and use of the organisation. There are so many details that I could go into or so many things I could talk about in terms of um, you know, the signs that you need to look out for and the things that people should be aware of. I think it's just easier for me to put a link in the description of the video um, to the A21 website and to the relevant parts so you can go and I do advise just go and spend five minutes just have a look because sometimes it's really easy to actually fall into these these things and they talk about the signs of potential uh, sex trafficking and human trafficking they talk about the things to look out for and the ways that people end up being uh, pulled into this I think the photos and videos turned out quite nicely and they seemed very happy with what I sent to them. So um, I thought I'd just share some now with you in this video. Before I show the videos and a few photos, uh, just a reminder, I feel slightly bad saying this in this video given what I'm talking about, but please do um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and share and like this video if you found it interesting and informational. And yeah, please come back. I'll see you next week. Enjoy. Enjoy.